everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well. Today I thought I would do a get ready with me, very very simple um, everyday makeup look just because one of my beautiful subscribers asked for it. So here it is. I really hope you enjoy it. If you do like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it really supports my channel. And if you would like to sign up for my free Glow Summit, which features some of the most amazing women across the globe being interviewed by me on how to glow from the inside out, then the link is in the description bar below as well. So let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the Anton Cosmetics Skin Esteem Certified Foundation, just because you saw a review of it, I really liked it on my skin. So for this everyday makeup look, I thought it'd look great. So I'm just popping this all over the skin, and again, because I still don't have my makeup brushes. Oh, the mirror dropped. As I was saying, because I still don't have my makeup brushes, um, I'm having to use my fingers for everything. But that is okay. Maybe this should be a no makeup brushes challenge, rather than just an everyday makeup look. But the reality is, a lot of people don't really have makeup brushes, so even some makeup artists, well, they have some, but they just don't use them all the time. So, yeah. And because this is quite light coverage, I'll probably pop two layers on. I feel like you can be quite generous with this, just because it blends into your skin so well. And also, if you want slightly fuller coverage, then it's good to do two layers. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with my trusty Hint Beauty concealer just underneath the eyes and if I've got any spots, just to cover them up too. As some of you will know, I've been meaning to get the number two Hint Beauty concealer just because I feel like this one's a bit light, but I haven't got around to it. But I feel like this week it's gonna happen. I'm just popping it on the top of my lids as well, just because I like it. This takes a bit of time just to blend in to your eyes just because it's so thick, but honestly it's worth it. The next thing I'm going to pop on is the RMS Beauty Magic Luminizer. This is just absolutely beautiful. Um, it's such a gorgeous luminizer. I'm popping that on my cheekbones. Oh, there's a spot there I missed. You see that? Ooh. Love it. And on my nose, just because I quite like the little glow on here that you get from it. And on the top of my lips. Maybe a little bit down my nose as well. Just because this is quite a dewy look. So, that'll do. Just, let me just get that spot. A couple of them have appeared out of nowhere overnight. There we go. Done. Oh, eyes, why do you water? I swear, first thing in the morning, my eyes get really watery if I wake up and look at my phone immediately, which is a really bad habit, but I did it this morning and now I feel like my eyes haven't woken up properly and they just got blasted with some phone rays, whatever it is that it's called from your phone and now my eyes are watering. So the next thing I'm going to use is the Anton Cosmetics Baked Blush Rose, um, just as a bit of a blush to add some color into my cheeks. You would have seen my review on this this week and I absolutely loved it. And I know quite a few of you really loved it as well. Also, I'm down to a really minimal makeup wardrobe as it were at the moment whilst all my stuff gets shipped over from, I think it's being air freighted. Um, over from New Zealand. So minimalism it is. So I'm quite excited because I'm off to London this morning. Going to go and meet up with some friends and see some PR companies and I'm going to an event this evening. I think I'm going to vlog it. So that should be really fun. Okay, I've added a little bit more colour in here now. And you can see the glow from the highlighter. Um, which is just amazing. So the next thing, and the brows. Brows, brows, brows. Okay, I've got a little spootly because my brow brush broke, so I need to fix that. And I'm going in with my trusty Eco Brow Pot. I will venture out, I promise. I just, I told you right now I've got a minimal makeup wardrobe, so I'll go and buy some new stuff. 
Does anybody else find watching somebody do makeup really relaxing? Because I sure do. One of my friends are doing their makeup, they're like, oh, don't watch me, Alish. I'm like, no, I really love it. Okay, so they are done. I managed to find one brush, and I think this is a Gressa brush. I'm going to use the Anton Cosmetics Baked Blush Rose again, just on my eyes, because I really liked the colour of it the last time I did it. And then I'm going to blend with my finger a little bit. This is just to make my eyes pop a little bit more, because I whited them out with the concealer. I'm not going to put any eyeliner on just because my eyes are still really watery so it's just going to end up all over my face right now but for my event later on I'll probably do a little bit of eyeliner before I go out but for now I'm using the Inica Long Lash Mascara and I'll probably pop about three coats of this on which is just phenomenal. Okay, so that's with three coats of mascara on. It's just absolutely amazing. It's one of my all-time favourite mascaras. So the next thing I'm going to use for my lips is a mix of the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Kiss Proof Lip Cream, and this is in Antique Pink. And then I'm also going to use the Cari Grand Lip Whip. This is the Radiant Lip Whip. Oh my goodness, my eye is watering again. I'm going to ruin all my makeup, left eye. I'm going to pop some of this on first. This stays on forever. And I really like the colour of it. I don't want it too perfect, so I'm just going to dab it on with my finger. Also, do be careful though. Because I made the slightly disastrous mistake of when I was trying it. And I overdrew my lips slightly just to see what it looked like, you know and it stains and it stays for ages and I was like oh my goodness <laughs> and then over the top I'm putting the Cari Grand Lip Whip and this is just going in the centre just because I feel the Bella Pierre uh, what's it called the lip cream does dry out your lips a little bit so that's done so that is my extremely simple everyday makeup routine kind of slash quick get ready with me for like everyday makeup. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And also if you would like to sign up to my free Glow Summit, which features some of the most incredible women across the world being interviewed by me to get their top tips on trips, tip I really need to get that right tips and tricks on how to glow from the inside out then the link is in the description bar below so thank you so much for watching again and I will see you on the next video Bye.